Hey guys, I'll welcome to your love reading for Taurus. This is going to be for your January 2024. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Uh, this could be with new love, current love, past love, like an ex. We're going to take a look at the person that you're thinking of, dealing with what their true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situation. You may switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at the other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Taurus people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, uh, the links for those are in the description box below. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on my new YouTube channel that's dedicated solely just to travel, the link for that is also in the description box below. I do also, um, why am I saying that? Uh, support me on there too. Do all the YouTube stuff, okay? So Taurus, tell them about Taurus. What's going on with Taurus and love? The person that Taurus is thinking of dealing with, what is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Taurus? What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Taurus for January, 2024? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs or Taurus. Ace of Pentacles in the star, you are the one. Aquarius energy, you are the one, Taurus. This person wants prosperity here with you. This person wants a beginning here with you. Okay, if this person has hurt you or betrayed you here, I do feel like this person definitely wants to work on healing this connection here. Okay, if this person was non-committal before, I feel like this person's ready to commit with you. Yeah, whoever this is, I do feel like this is an individual that's looking for a passionate new beginning here with you. Okay, uh, you know, um, it also could be a situation that, you know, this, this could be a new person that's coming into your life and they're seeing prosperity here with you. They're seeing a potential abundance, you know, I, and they're seeing you as a one here. Uh, but, you know, with the Ten of Swords here, you know, if that's the case, this person could be coming in with a little bit of baggage here. So you need to be aware of that. Tell with the Ace of Pentacles here and the Seven of Cups. If this person was ex exploring other options, this person's definitely choosing you here, the Star card here and the Queen of Swords. So I feel like this person perhaps is coming clean, telling you how they feel, you know, telling you what they want from you, you know, telling you uh, what their plans are here with you. The Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, the Fool card here and the Six of Wands, some of the Ten of Swords. One is the Ten of Swords here and we have the Eight of Swords here. This could be a situation that this person fears getting hurt here. Yeah, or that this person maybe even like if they had a hard time telling you about their past here, about their uh, experiences, about getting hurt with other people here, I feel like this person's going to share that here too. Maybe they're going to give you a better understanding of what, you know, uh, you know why they're behaving the way they're, 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 they're behaving here. The Ace of Wands, why is the Ace of Wands here? The Ace of Wands here and the Sun Leo energy. Three of Cups. So Taurus, I feel like this person is realizing that you are the one. I feel like this person ha uh, is hoping that you would give them a chance here. Okay, if this person has hurt you before, I feel like this person is hopeful that this uh, reconciliation will be successful here. Okay, let's see what else we have. I do feel like this person is a bit obsessed, uh, obsessed with you here too. Yeah, or that you might be seeing this person in the negative light here. You know, you might be seeing this person as someone who is very toxic. Or you see this person as someone here who's a drunk or who has addiction issues, such as like a drinking problem here, okay? What else do we have for, for Taurus? What else does Taurus need to know, look out for, work on when it comes to this love situation? For January, January 2024, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Taurus. For Taurus. Okay, so we have the uh, Knight of Swords and the Death card. Okay, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, the Death card, Scorpio energy here. We have the Ace of Swords here and the Chariot. Yeah, I really feel like this person wants to get something off their chest here. Yeah, whoever this is, I do feel like this person is definitely coming back changed, definitely coming back different here. Okay, I feel like they want to work together with you, work together here with you, work things out here with you. I feel like this person, at some point, if they were 
emotionally unavailable they are. Like I said, if this person was exploring other options here, they're getting rid of the options here to be with you. They're choosing you here. But like I said, I feel like you might be viewing this person in a negative light here, okay? Uh, you know, I feel like you're just not trusting this individual anymore here, Taurus. Yeah, Knight of Swords here. You know, I feel like you're the type of person that gets burned once. You're just kind of like, okay, I'm done with this. King of Wands and the Knight of Swords. The Death card here and the King of Swords. Yeah, for you, this could be over here with. You're done with this person. You're making a run for it. You know, I just feel like you've been really hurt by this individual here. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like a third party did get involved here too, such as a parent. Yeah, maybe this parent was talking into your person's ear trying to stop them from being with you. And I feel like maybe this person, your person took the, the, the parent's word as gold and sort of ran with it. And, and then they realized they made a mistake here. The Ace of Swords. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Ace of Swords here and the Two of Cups. Tell me the Chariot here. Why is the Chariot here? The Chariot here and the Devil. Yeah, you're just realizing that the situation is toxic. Because I feel like this person's a package deal in a way. Yeah, because I feel like this person tends to, yeah, I do feel like this person's a bit of a mama's boy, okay, or a mama's girl or something like that. So anything that this mother says or that this father figure says, they sort of just go along with it. They sort of run with it here. Yeah, so I feel like you're viewing this whole situation very, very just toxic yeah and they feel like you just don't have any sort of like room or energy to deal with this type of situation here the yeah the page of pentacles here and the two of wands i mean if this person had other options like i said this person's choosing you here okay they're choosing you you know i, I feel like this person's just not really sure yeah one of the things i'm getting here is i feel like if this per parent is getting involved, I feel like this parent is definitely setting this person up with somebody else here, okay? I, you know, one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like both parents of your person is definitely causing some sort of confusion here because they keep going back and forth here. Two of Pentacles here and the Emperor. We have the Emperor to the Empress here. Or that it, this could be indication that both of you guys are soulmates here, okay? Both of you guys are soulmates here, but I feel like, yeah... The devil, uh, the, the the tower and the seven of swords. If this person has betrayed you before, this person's gonna betray you again. Yeah, I, I feel like this person has a history of getting into relationships and the parents getting involved here. I feel like that's the trauma that's, that this person is dealing with. That's the pain or the, the hurt that they're dealing with or that they've dealt with here because I feel like this person has never been able to fully embrace their own truth here and they feel like this person tends to trust other people's opinions here instead of trusting their own, Taurus, okay? So Taurus, I hope that this is helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below, like this video, share Share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.